the image in my mind is a bridge. Somebody gets to that bridge and goes, okay, I know I can physically walk over this bridge. I don't know how long it is, so I fear how long it's going to take me to get over it. But they'll just stop and sit there. Or they'll just become a troll and live under the damn bridge. Instead of asking somebody, can you help me get across it? So how did you get to that point where you were like, I'm standing at this bridge and I need help to cross it? Um, I knew my mom dealt with it. Um, panic attacks and anxiety. Um, didn't want to be like my mom. <laughs> So that held me back. Um, uh, of course, the stigma of medication held me back. Um, but just coming to the point where I'm like, I, I can't, this isn't, like my husband was noticing that I was a completely different person than when we were dating. I ended up having a miscarriage in 2011 and that like threw me off. And that was when I was like, okay, I think this has something to do with why I'm a wreck. Um, emotionally, so something something needs to change. I don't have to, like, this isn't living. This isn't life. <laughs> it's tough when we get to that spot. You feel like um, you just don't want it anymore. Yeah. That's sometimes what it takes for people to get to. And I really wish for the people that listen to this podcast that they can hear our words and our stories and go, okay, I don't have to go down that path. I can learn that. However... You're probably still going to fuck up. <laughs> You're probably still going to have to learn it on your own. Yep. But take our wisdom and the thoughts that we have. I think certain things that we've learned over the course of time is just because of time. You and I could not have had this conversation in our early 20s because we didn't know any of this stuff yet. We had no idea what was going on. Um, but being able to share in the experiences and the wisdom, a lot of people I'm sure we can get into just, you know, I had a rough time and then I came out of it and here we are and great and everything's happy. Be able to talk about the tough shit. That's what this is about. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I don't know if I'd still be married if I didn't get help. I don't know what my kids would be like. Um, especially, I don't, I can say that for joining Mary Kay with what I've learned in personal growth with that, with that business. Um, I know for a fact I don't know. My kids, like, <laughs> they can be tough sometimes um, to parent and just be around. <laughs> but I know I would, I, without Mary Kay, I wouldn't have been able to pass on what I'm learning to them. And that is, like, a huge deal. Um, being a parent, and, I mean, let's be real, none of us know what we're doing when we're a parent. Um None of us know what we're doing. In Parents general. are not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but when it, when you when there's two other souls involved, it's quite the responsibility. And I'm just super thankful that I have my mentor Danielle and and other girls around me that have either gone ahead or have taught me how to th how to create a better mindset, so I can pass that on to my kids. Because my youngest is more like me, and like super I'm working on it I'm better but super negative super down on himself and so if I didn't have the mindset training or the the systems I have um I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to help him through that and help him learn things um one of one of my favorite things to say to him is if you say you can't you're right and he's said it back to me before so having that <laughs> the kids will give you accountability for sure but just being able to teach him the things that I've struggled with at, he'll be 10 in February. So at 10 years old, I mean, man, if we knew the stuff we know now at 10 years old. I'd still fuck up terribly. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, I probably wouldn't be as anxious. I probably wouldn't have been as, I don't know. I would definitely have been more confident for sure.